Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today, background's a little different. You guys have asked to see my makeup collection for a while now, and I kind of showed it in like a room tour when I first started my channel, and then I moved, and I was supposed to show you the big glam room that I had, but yeah, I moved again. So this space is smaller than what you might have seen when I did my build out picture on Instagram. So now I've downsized a little bit, but I feel like I'm putting the space to more use. I still haven't put everything where it's supposed to be um, as far as like decorating and stuff, but I have the main stuff done and I feel good about it. So I guess I could go ahead and show you guys now. You really want to see the collection, I think, more than my room, but I will try to show both. So before we get into this, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload, I do lots of makeup, do some hair. This is something I just filmed and a little bit of fitness as well. So that's about it. I won't keep rambling. If you want to see what's here and some more stuff in front of me, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So this is a wide angle view of my actual vanity. So when I'm getting ready, I sit here and I do my makeup. This was one of the first areas that I was like, I need to get this set up just because it makes me feel happy and it makes me feel more like I have a makeup room. So this is the vanity. Of course, it's from Ikea. And then I'm gonna move you up so you can see my painting has not gone anywhere. She is still there. And then I have some stuff over here to the left, my finger's not in the video, right there. This mirror right here, I don't remember where I got this little mirror from. It is one of those that you can do like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and it talks to you. It's a high mirror, that's what it is. Lights up, does all that junk. I don't really use it that much to be honest. Um, I did in the beginning, but then I stopped. This is my calendar. I got from Amazon. I like to do all of my planning sitting in here because this is my happy place. So it doesn't feel as much like work. This mirror, I think I also got from Amazon. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I'm really bad at remembering stuff like that. This is just other stuff that I have. This Juno & Co. I mainly like this for decor. I love this moisturizer. It's a great primer. My Jackie Ina candle. That was from earlier, I worked out. And then I always try to keep water with me. This used to be in my bathroom. So this was like my everyday quote unquote makeup, the stuff that I would tend to gravitate towards more. Um, this is just, I try to swap this stuff out pretty regularly because when I sit down to get ready, this is the stuff that I use. So. This is also a lot of stuff that I don't normally show on camera, mainly because you either can't get it or I don't want to promote it, like that brand. So yeah, I have my Laura Mercier powder, my Nikia Joy, my Milani cream to powder. I use this a lot on my wigs. A few foundations back here, some concealers, some primers. These are all lips more foundations and then in these drawers it's just random stuff i have tools i have junk to be honest i need to clean this out um these are eyeshadow bases and liquid highlighters these are more eye primers and regular primers in this drawer is blushes and highlighters and then this drawer is random eyeshadow setting powder blush highlighter concealer just kind of whatever there's no rhyme or reason honestly so i probably should reorganize this a little better but you get busy life happens then this is my set of refer brushes that i just got um still have not used these i don't know why but this is magnetic and i think it's cute so i'll leave it sitting up here then I'm just going to hold my camera for this part. This is 
Honestly, it's just more storage. These are some necklaces that I didn't wear. I never wear necklaces. I don't know why. These are all eye products. So like, what am I thinking? Moisturizer. So like, eye cream, eye cream, eye cream. I think my Becca under eye concealer is in here. Yeah, I just got that. Stuck it in there because I didn't know what to do with it. Um, these are eyeshadows, like my smaller eyeshadow palettes. So like my... Natasha Denona's. This is one of the Marc Jacobs. That's another Natasha Denona, I think. Yeah. Uh, and then my Dose of Colors. These are the really small ones that were kind of awkward to fit in my drawer. And then these are all liquid blushes. Yes, all liquid blushes. Milani, Melt, Tower 28. My Rare Beauty in the back, more Milani in the back, so I just like to keep these separate. And then these are all my eyeshadows. No, lies. Mascaras. <laughs> mascaras. Crap ton of them for somebody who doesn't even like to wear mascara. I like it more now since my lashes are growing. But yeah, a bunch of different ones. Drugstore, stuff that somebody's having a sale. I buy backups like I'm ever going to run out. And I don't change them every three months either, so it's kind of pointless. So now we'll get into the drawers. This is on the right side. My top drawer is just like, it's stuff. I'm not even gonna lie. It is filming stuff, remotes, batteries, extra ink pens, stuff like that. Nothing really to see here. Some of my tools. This next drawer is my eyebrow products and then lip masks and lip treatments, lip balms whatever just a bunch of lip stuff so i would love to have this separated more but i don't have room in here so this is brow pencils brow pomades brow gels anything brows goes in here and then yeah lip stuff lip oils just i keep all my pretty much all my backups in here so that's it for that drawer this drawer, uh, yeah, that's all my lip products. So this is my lip liners, and that is drugstore and high-end mixed together. These are just little minis that I honestly probably should get rid of because I don't use them ever, or maybe put them in my purse. But for right now, there is really no rhyme or reason why I'm saving them, other than my Fenty lip glosses, of course, because I love those. And then these back here, these are my high-end lip products, so lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. I don't think I have any, I might have a few glosses in here, but I don't really buy a lot of gloss. They're in a little pouch somewhere else, I'll show y'all. And then this is my drugstore side. This is just on this side because I have more room. But yeah, that is my lip products. This last drawer. These are my big eyeshadow palettes that I cannot fit where my other eyeshadow palettes are. So it's different brands, high-end, drugstore. Then my setting sprays are all in the back and that's the only two things in this drawer. I do plan on showing my eyeshadow palette collection one of these days. I just haven't done it yet, but I will. So then this side we have my primers. This is my mostly, I think I have it split as much as I can because of space. These are my drugstore. That's not drugstore, but these are drugstore here. And then these are my high end. These are smaller samples. And then these are my eyeshadow primers. So glitter glue, these are mixed drugstore and high end. I think this is all of my primers other than like what I have on top of my vanity. So. You know what? I lie. Never mind. <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. But yeah, definitely. This is face and eye primers. Then this drawer are my concealers. This is the drugstore side. This is the high end side. Honestly, the drugstore is pretty much different or the same shades and backups of the same things. And then the high end, I have a lot of backups of the same things, but also some new stuff. So for a while, I stocked up on shape tape when I could get it. I absolutely fell in love with the, it's in here somewhere. Or maybe I stuck it somewhere else. The Urban Decay the Naked Skin. So I have so many backups of these and you can't even get this anymore. 
they're probably gonna go bad before I can use them all, but whatever. As you can see, there are a lot of concealers in here I still have not tried yet, which is why they are still in the boxes. Some I've only tried like once or twice and I need to use again to get a better opinion, but yeah, haven't used this yet. So these are the correctors in the front or shades that don't really match well, but I don't want to get rid of it because Pat McGrath, Kevin O'Quinn, just yeah, all my concealers. Then this, <laughs> this is some of my foundations. Yeah, uh, this is drugstore. This is high end. This is kind of a hodgepodge only because of how my drawers are set up. There's really, these are too big to like, they're not going to, the drawer's not going to close if I try to stand them up. So that's why they're laying down like that. But a lot of foundations, one of my favorite things I like to try. So a lot of these are old and honestly, I don't throw stuff out until it starts looking bad or it starts smelling. So I'm not going to throw these out just because I've had them for a while. If they don't break me out, they don't smell bad. I'm going to keep them. This drawer is highlighters. I have a few liquids, which I don't really use a lot and I need to try more. Like... I don't even remember if I swatched this. I think I got this in a boxy charm. Um, some of these I found like at TJ Maxx. You can't get them. This is an old Kat Von D. Um, Makeup Geek. My Pat McGrath. And then these are just all different. And that goes back pretty far. There's some more back there. So... For a while, I went on this phase of like, I needed to get all these different highlighters. And then I was like, Barbara, don't buy any more highlighters. You don't wear them a lot. And I've cut down on buying them a good bit. So I'm pretty proud of myself for that. And then this last drawer is face powders, which I need to declutter these because honestly, I don't use powder as much as I used to. A lot of these shades don't match or like... I won't wear them. I don't know. Some of them I don't like. I need to declutter and I plan on doing that soon. So loose powders all mixed up. Drugstore high end because there's so many of them. I don't have this is just Tetris. It's not organized any kind of way. And then there's also more in the back of the drawer there. So there's stuff that I've been holding on to just because that whole oh I paid for it. I need to keep it and I am told myself I'm going to do better this year, so yeah, you guys will see a declutter. So this is my eyeliner and mas more mascaras. Yeah, more mascaras. So these are my liquid liners. I think these are all liquid liners back here, mostly drugstore. These are more liners. I, for a while, thought I absolutely love this, and then I bought extras and I don't wear it. I don't like it. The applicator is crappy, like too much product comes out and then not enough product. I don't know. And I have backups of it. Y'all know this is one of my favorites, so I have backups of that. This is Milani the Tank. Love that. And then these are just a little bunch of mini mascaras that I have. And then some mascara primers. And then a gel eyeliner. So... Yeah, all my eyeliners here have quite a few bunch of colorful ones I don't wear. I don't wear a lot of eyeliner. I usually just use my eyeshadow to smoke out my bottom lash line, and that's the extent of my eyeliner. So I guess I need to do better with that. These are my single shadows and liquid shadows and multichromes and pigments. Y'all, this drawer is so beautiful, but it is the probably least used in my collection. I want to kick myself, but who what brand is this? Terra Moon? I think so. Why are these in here? Oh, these are just single shadows. Okay. I was like, these should be with my duochromes. These are notoriously morbid. So these are multi-chromes. You can see it in there. I got a few of those, and these are Makeup Maniacs, so more multi-chromes. I'm probably going to throw these away. I think these are ColourPop. 
yeah kathleen lights i don't wear this i don't know why i'm holding on to them I keep telling myself I need to try them before I throw them away, but it's just not anything that I gravitate towards. These are MAC eyeshadows that I picked up at the cosmetics company store. These are like drugstore, whatever you want to call these little things. The L'Oreal single shadows. I have some ColourPop that are probably bad. What is this? Oh, my Bobbi Brown ones. Some of these I'm not going to get rid of, but I'm probably not going to wear a lot either. I'll just be completely honest. These are like liquids, my Stila's, y'all know. And then this is some Pat McGrath stuff up here, Donessa Myricks. So pretty. So it's a beautiful drawer. It just doesn't get used a lot. Y'all have already seen this drawer recently. These are my lashes. We're not going through that again. <laughs> this drawer, um, these are my face palettes. Make sure this camera doesn't fall face palettes so mostly like bronzer blushes highlighter all in ones i hate having my palette stacked like this so yeah i really just don't have much of a choice this is actually like eyeshadow singles i think there's some um what you call that brand makeup geek in here there's some mac i think that's it makeup geek and mac yeah, probably. And then these are MAC Blushes and Makeup Geek. My Natasha Denona back there. So yeah, we got drugstore stuff and high-end. Then this drawer starts the eyeshadows. So... Make sure my camera don't fall, Lord. These, I was trying to have some organization to how these are in here, but I really don't. Kind of frustrating, but maybe when I go through my eyeshadows and show you guys everything, then I'll reorganize it. But these, no rhyme or reason, they're just in here by how they fit. So these are drugstore, high-end, other brands. What is this? Bad Habit. Uh, what's this? Ace Beauté. Jaclyn Hill, Milani, what is this, Melt, yeah, Melt, Urban Decay, Luoma Beauty, I refuse to get rid of this palette even though the blue literally, I just, it was breaking apart so I just threw it away because it pissed me off, but love this eyeshadow palette, y'all have I, I don't, I say I love this palette and I think I've only worn it like once to be completely honest, that's my problem uh what else is back here See, some of my stuff is hard to get to i can't stand when i can't get to my stuff so that's why i need to organize this better but yeah new stuff and older stuff i wanted this palette forever finally got it queen of hearts and then also this uoma beauty this is the green one i don't think i've even done this look on my channel yet but absolutely gorgeous all right, so these are more eyeshadows. Again, no rhyme or reason, just however they fit in the drawer. So we got Morphe, Lunar Beauty, Give Me Glow, which I have not played with this yet. Y'all ain't even gonna lie. If I haven't used, used twice, haven't used, Untamed, is this the one I just used? Yeah, just used this one. Haven't used this in forever, have not used have not used, used once, used once, have not used, Dominique Cosmetics, I don't even know which one this is, used once, once, haven't used, like, do you see what I'm talking about here? I don't, I have no, no excuse, I just freaking love eyeshadow, and when I can get it, I do, haven't used, haven't used, I don't even know what that is, <laughs> haven't used, haven't used either of these two, haven't used, I just got this one this year. I've used these. So this is drugstore and high-end. This is more eyeshadow. These are my smaller palettes. Uh, what? Don't think I've used this one. Have not used this one. I think I've used most of these in here. Haven't used this one. Good old Patrick. Is this the Patrick? Yeah, Patrick Star. This is... Dominique's Cosmetics, her Valentine one with the glitter in it that I don't love glitter. There's some more smaller ones back here. Um, 
and then some even smaller ones back here just different stuff color pop maybelline believe beauty so again by how they fit more than anything else these are my blushes i think i've done pretty well considering how much i love blush i'm more just like i like a certain shade and as long as i can get that shade I don't need to buy 50 of that shade. If I like the formula and I like the blush, then that's it. So I don't really buy a bunch of different blushes. These are backups of the Bouncing Blur. Love these. I think I'm just holding on to this one because I bought it and I thought the shade was going to work. It's not. So probably time to declutter. I don't think I've done a declutter of blushes. I'm going to do a declutter. I promise. Uh, what is this? Oh, I just got that. Yeah, so that's all this. And then there's more back here. I've got this. I still haven't used this. The Patrick Ta Blush Palette that everybody went crazy about. Haven't even used it yet. I just wanted to have it because everybody was making a big deal out of it. And then this lash drawer is bronzer and extra lashes. Bronzer is kind of just one of those things where it's like if I find one that fits my skin tone and I like it Then that's what I'm gonna use. So I don't buy a lot of them uh, Most of the high-end ones don't have enough shades So it's just kind of a no-brainer whatever I find that works That's what I'm gonna use. Uoma Beauty, Juvia's Place, Morphe uh, Alamar What is this? Juvia's Place Physicians formula. This one actually works for my skin tone. Nabla. Yeah, I haven't used this. I used this one time when it came in. And then I think it's more because it's too much of a bronzer. And I thought it was going to be a cream high, uh, cream contour, but it's really a bronzer. This was like my very first ever. And I was only able to get it on Amazon years ago. And this is so old. Like literally probably... 10 years old I'm not even gonna lie and yes I still put it on my face so right now I'm just gonna hold <laughs> to show you guys oh these are my wigs I counted I have like 75 wigs absolutely makes no sense but yeah I want to film videos for all of these and I just I, they overwhelm me I'm not even gonna lie a lot of them are human hair. Mostly the ones up there are human hair. I just started getting into synthetic wigs. I haven't filmed any videos yet, but they are coming. So I have all of these that I've gotten recently that I need to film. So that is what is in this section here. Then up top, this is more just decor stuff. So I am a Care Bear fan. The pink one I've had literally since I was nine years old. That... I can't even believe I still have it and it doesn't look beat up, but her name is Gimme. I said that the theme of my room was purple, so you see a lot of purple, just flowers. Um, these are empty because I haven't figured out what I want to put in them yet. These are more blushes. These are the Winky Lux blushes that are the roses. And I just, I don't even think I've worn them. They've been decoration. And then these are some of my... Just different lipsticks that I thought would be pretty to display more than anything else. I was looking for this. That's a mascara. That doesn't go up there. See what I'm saying? So yeah, those are mostly drugstore or just like some high end too. But the ones that I like the packaging the most. Then this is more just stuff that I like to look at. So these are my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes here. These are my more high end lipsticks yeah all high-end uh decorative that back there i still have not used that's when they brought back the anastasia sultry palette had to get it because i wanted it to be part of this collection haven't used it yet um these are my lux sb perfumes and then these are some of my natasha denona palettes so of course those need to be on display then this drawer is my fancy schmancy drawer so this has more anastasia beverly hills and Reezy. this is the prism this is the riviera 
This is the Subculture, which I'm never going to get rid of. I love this palette, despite a lot of people hating it. And then I also have my Supreme News that I just got this year. Didn't really have anywhere else to put it, but the packaging's nice, so I wanted it out. Um, this is where I keep my glosses. I don't have a lot of glosses. It's never really been my thing, so most of them are in here. Just different glosses. Then my newest, I need to move this to the other side, but this is my JBW watch that I just got for Christmas. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, but I need to have a link taken out. These are all of my Tom Ford quads. And then I have three more back here. So I have 11. I got all these on sale. I did not buy one of these full price. So don't look at me crazy because that's ridiculous. All of them on sale. Proud of myself. And then over here is my Pat McGrath stuff. These are some of the blushes. I think these are eyeshadow quads. I try to keep these little things with them. I have a few of those. And then my Mothership palettes, I have seven of those. And then behind those, I have a couple highlighters. Oh, I'll just pick it up and show you. So trying to just keep it pretty. Highlighters, under eye setting powder. So yeah, that stuff just kind of sits back there. This drawer is a hodgepodge kind of. So here, these are highlighters. Yes, these are highlighters. Could have been gone in the other drawer, but that drawer was getting full. So I pulled out some of my nicer high-end ones to put here. And these are more eyeshadow palettes. So these are some of my favorites or like ones that I was really excited to get. Um... I don't think I've even used this one. I'm so mad at myself because I waited, pre-ordered, got this. Still have not used this, but look how pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. I need to use this. Haven't used this one either. Same thing. Menagerie Cosmetics. Absolutely gorgeous. Have not used it. I don't think I've used Nope. Give me glow. This was one of the first times I ordered from them. Had to get this one. Swatched it, but haven't used it. These are just random powders. This used to be in my bathroom, but now I have smaller space. So this sits in here and I just kind of come grab stuff as I need it. But it needs to be decluttered and probably put in the other drawers. And then this is more eyeshadow palettes. My KKW... Two more Natasha Denona that I couldn't fit. Oh, what is this? Sydney Grace, Ace Beauté, and I cannot wait to use this. I still have not used this, my Lunar Beauty. And then these are, these are under eye powders from, what do you call that brand? Marc Jacobs? Am I tripping? No, yeah. Marc Jacobs, Natasha Denona Contour. These are more just kind of like my high-end stuff that I thought these would look cute up here. Absolutely love this colored rain times power. Stick your thumb in it. Why don't you? Oh, Barbara. Yeah, blush and highlighter. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, so this drawer has slowly become my drawer of backups. These drawers used to be empty and I was like, I'm probably never going to be able to fill these. And now I have room to fill them. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but potato, potato, right? This is also foundations and these drawers are deeper so I can stand these up. But these are, they're not even backups, honestly. They're just, <laughs> it's extra foundation that wouldn't fit. Okay, that's what it is. Back there, I have a primer oil, and then those are setting sprays. Just do this. Setting sprays and like my Maron Mixing Medium. Those are extra lip liners. This is more lip balms and stuff. These are more foundations, but I didn't want to put them over here since these are all standing up. 
These are primers, so wouldn't fit in the drawer, backups, mostly backups. What is this? Yeah. Like I have two of these Smith & Colts. I forgot I bought one and then I got another one on sale. These are primer oils, a, another backup of a paint pot. I don't know why that one sponge is there, but that's not where my sponges are, so whatever. Powders, again, these are all just backups or stuff I haven't used. Like why, I have two of these. Never use one, but I have two. Cause you forget what you have and buy other stuff. This is powders, backups. Told y'all I have backups of these. And then these are extra brow products. Why? And these are all the skinny ones that I don't even really like anymore. But I bought them because they were on sale years ago. Yeah. And then more face stuff. Bronzers. This drawer is backups of powders. Stuff that I bought when I first got into makeup and I thought I was going to love it and honestly now I just kind of don't or love other stuff so it's in this drawer because I don't want to throw it away but I probably need to so oh struggle bus yeah and then this is also stuff that I got like as gifts so Mary Kay I used to use this all the time because that's what got me into makeup this is cover FX matte setting powder i think this is sacha butter oh laura mercier oh i have a backup great uh one of these is sacha i think yeah sacha buttercup which i used to use all the time and now i'm like i don't like yellow powders and then this one it's just junk that stuff on that side for giveaways and then this is like backup shower stuff not makeup Getting to the final stretch, that stuff, I don't know what's in those boxes. It's just storage. We're not going to worry about it because it's purple and it's cute. This next section here, those are my sponges back there. Joe, Delo Joe Malone diffuser. This little set I bought at a cosmetics company store. I need to open it because it's freaking La Mer and I don't want it to go bad. It is a lip Kiss by La Mer collection. So, eh, what is it? Lip volumizer moisturizing cream and a lip balm but i think the box is pretty so i've just been keeping it there uh there's more stuff back there there's eyeglasses and the box for my movado watch y'all know what that is tatcha stuff again i need to use it but i think it's cute for decor these are my brushes i think these are all my brushes yeah, I don't really buy a lot of brushes. These, some of these I bought, but a lot of them came in like BoxyCharm and all that stuff. Back there is a bunch of samples that I've gotten and I just throw them in that box. I give them to friends. I use them for travel, whatever. Another diffuser whenever this one runs out and an empty bag, but it's cute. This pullout tray is jewelry. I don't have a lot, so there's not much in there. These are my fragrances. Absolutely love this pullout drawer. So fun. This drawer does not have a lot of stuff in it. This is my, did not mean to zoom. Oh yeah, I did. That's the right size. Um, these are mostly my high end, like most expensive foundations and primers and stuff. Uh, my Tom Ford White Suede Perfume, that's a backup. And then my Burberry Blush, which is one of my favorites, that's a backup. This is skincare stuff. I'm not about to go into all this stuff. Masks, treatments, oils. Um, yeah, masks. These are all masks. Then this is more skincare stuff. This is ridiculous. <laughs> These are cleansing oils and balms. These are, what you call those things? Sunscreen, moisturizers all throughout here. Are those all moisturizers? I think they are. There are some serums here, cleansers here. I think that's pretty much it. Not as fun as the makeup, but a necessity. And then this last one is just makeup wipes sponges cotton balls stuff like that and then this is kind of a hodgepodge so 
skincare stuff up there. That's my change bottle. It's a big ass Miller Lite bottle. These are all my Bath and Body Works candles and the start of my nails. And then this is all nail stuff. So these are my press-ons. Your girl loves press-ons. Prefer the ones with the glue. These like last like a good week on me, even in the gym. So love those. More nails. My Color Street nail strips in the back. Nail tools. Nail polishes over here. Kind of dark, you can't see. This is kind of where it starts getting messy because this is stuff that was in my bathroom that I didn't have room for. So kind of just storage cleaning stuff starts here and then more cleaning stuff at the bottom. All right, this stuff is not completely unpacked. I ain't spending a lot of time over here. This is more jewelry I don't wear. This starts my contacts, so color contacts and regular. I think these are more contacts, toothpaste, toothbrushes, just all backups of like hygiene stuff deodorant this starts my wig stuff hair stuff hair stuff hair tools then I just could not get rid of this chair you saw it in my other room doesn't really fit in here so I still haven't put my rug out because I kind of don't know where or how it's gonna look so that's just there this cabinet was in my bathroom but now it's in here those are some of my palettes that are kind of too big to go in the drawer or I feel like they're kind of special that I just want out and in this catastrophe <laughs> y'all when I tell you I don't need to shop this is all hair products I'm not even getting into it. Let's not talk about it. You see it. That's it. And then this is where the magic happens. So when I'm filming, this is where I am sitting. So camera, two softbox lights, a ring light. That's mostly what I use. And then my chair I got from Amazon, I believe. And then the three-tier tray I got from the container store. Um, so yeah, when I film this, I pull forward. I wanted something that rolled because it was easy to move around. So I put the stuff that I'm going to use to film in here to keep it off my desk. And then I sit here and I film. And then just show you this stuff. This is the stuff that's in the bathroom. So bare minimum because the bathroom counter is small. This is just my, I need to get ready quick, day to day. Couple of mascaras, a brow, one foundation, one tinted moisturizer, a couple concealers, and some brushes. And that is it. So this is my filming area. And if you're curious, for my camera, I use a Sony A6400. I picked the Sony because it does not shut off after 30 minutes like the Canons do. And then my lens is a Sony lens. I don't remember which one. I'll put it on the screen, but I am looking at getting another one. I just haven't pulled the trigger because I don't know what I want yet. All right, I am tired. I have no idea how much footage that was, but you guys wanted to see my collection. So that's, I think that's everything. Pretty sure that's everything other than what's in my makeup bag. So let me hear it in the comments. I know y'all are gonna say it's a lot. Every time I do a collection video like that, I feel so overwhelmed and it makes me want to just start decluttering stuff. So I don't think I'm going to do that tonight because I'm tired, but it is coming soon because I just, I'm not, it ain't going to be eyeshadows. I can tell you that right now. I might get rid of a couple of them, but it's just not happening. So whatever, but I will, you guys will see when it happens because I will post the videos. I hope you enjoyed you wanted to see, so there you have it. That is my makeup collection. It is a lot more than any normal person needs, but I love it, it's my hobby, and I have fun doing it. So comment below, let me hear it. What are your thoughts? I love hearing from you guys, and I'm gonna say good night. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of the video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.